Thanks for joining us. I'm Richard Ransom. First tonight, crime concerns near the U of M campus after a shooting at a gas station. And the two men responsible are still out there tonight. Our Zaria Oates met up with the victim who's sharing her story with you. Cleon Osby's worst day happened at this gas station near U of M early Thursday morning. But I'd rather it had been my leg versus anything else. A man shot her in the leg after she refused to give up her purse while waiting for a ride late at night. She doesn't want to show her face out of fear of retaliation, but says she did everything she could to protect herself, even using pepper spray. So when I pepper spray, he took one hand out the gun, did like that. Wiping his face. This one took and shot me. Osby walked down to this Valero just behind me after her shift ended at 3 a.m. at the Wendy's down the street. She tells me the price of Uber drops from $32 down to $9 when she comes over here. It's a dangerous walk, but she says it's worth saving the money. I don't even understand why they, need, why they don't even have a full patrol going on right there at the area. I feel like that area is a high crime risk area anyway. Business owners close to that gas station, like Jihad, agree crime is a growing problem. The shootings, all that is messing up businesses around this corner. A lot of customers being scared. A lot, we'll be getting a lot of complaints from customers. Hey, it's too much going on around this block. Osby said she's just glad this situation didn't get any worse. Way worse, yeah. Cause I could have been running away, could have shot me in my back. She tells me she has seen the two men involved in the incident before at the Wendy's that she works at down the street on Highland. Now we did go to the Wendy's and the manager said he could not provide us with any security camera video at this time. But if you do have any information, please contact the Memphis Police Department. In Memphis, I'm Zaria Oates.